What's going on, YouTube, and all my fellow Doge Army holders out there and the rest of the cryptocurrency world? I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday morning, afternoon, night, wherever you're turning in. Before I go any further, please consider subscribing to my channel, smashing that like button. We're going to do some technical analysis on Dogecoin and give you my price prediction and price trajectory and just where I expect it to go over the next 48 hours. But if you haven't already, come follow me on Twitter so you can get yourself some free Doge. I hope to see you there. I need 5,000 people to follow me before I give out some Doge silver. So let's jump right on into the video. So I already have some support and resistance levels mapped out on here. Uh, the video I said I made last night, I, you know, it confirmed that we were going to continue going downward. I am expecting that we will finally get above this 150-day moving average. But remember, I am not a professional. This should be considered entertainment use only. Before you buy or sell any asset, you, just, you should consult with a professional. Or hell, don't be lazy. Look at some charts, read some articles, listen to some random guy or chick on YouTube. So, yeah, back onto this one. This is, um, this is kind of what I am expecting the downward channel to continue to look like. And it looks like it has been playing out so far like that. I mean, I, I mean, it's just like, man, it looks so, it looks so it's disgusting like i mean man how the hell you want me to map out some <laughs> some technical support so this whatever that I mean i guess we could put one like that would probably be my main support to the problem with crack and i mean i would go on robin hood and use robin hood but a lot of people want to act like they're professionals and they're like oh robin hood sucks because it wouldn't let me sell some shit or whatever the hell happened. Look at man, whatever. I'm not gonna get in my head. I made money off of that whole fiasco. If you didn't sell in time, sounds like a personal problem, bro. Let me see. Let's get another one in here. Like, there's really. It's like I don't. <laughs> Everything continues to point down this direction. I want to say the 25th, the 26th, maybe. No, 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 no. I want to say by the 25th, we're going to have a pretty exponential movement upwards. Or hell, I could be wrong. And we can just continue going downwards and we can smack down at 15 cents again. I mean, what was the low over here again? Um, back down to seven cents. Uh, I mean, hell, it is a possibility. I I hate to be the bad news, the bad news bear. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was. That was weird, huh? That damn 3D printer. I did some modifications to it, and they were not liking it. <laughs> I just got to reposition the fan on it. Yeah, I made to make a whole new box for that damn thing. All right, so back where was that? So yeah, back to um, I believe we could be seeing a potential smack down here. You know what I mean? <laughs> As much as no, who's that one?
unfortunately, it still looks like it's going to continue down. It's going to continue downward. Yeah. Um, we could definitely be testing 20, 20 cent, 22 cents again for 25. We are, it is going to be a pretty nasty couple, couple days. So this weekend, I mean, man, this weekend's going to suck. It's a good thing it's a weekend though, because I mean, you don't got to look at it, right? I mean, you don't, I do, because I'm always over here making videos on it. So, you know, let me go see what is Bitcoin doing. Bitcoin looks like fucking nice though. See, this is what we need Dogecoin to look like, where it looks more just, it's more stable. I mean, it's not all over the crazy. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty bad drop, but it didn't do it as dramatic as Doge did it, as our boy Doge did. I mean, this is just like, all this is just crazy. This is where I kind of see this one going, in a sense. So, unfortunately, we have to be real and say that, okay, 17, 19, 18 cents is a possibility. But let's hope that we don't get there. I mean, um, I'm not really big on hope because it, it, it don't really, um, that shit don't pay the bills in a way, all right? We're still on a downward trend, unfortunately. Like I said on my last video, we're still trading under the 150-day moving average, and it don't look like we're going to get over that 150-day average until, hell, what is that? The 5th? The 7th? Man, this thing could go all the way on like this till the 10th, maybe the 12th. Nope. It can go all the way on until June, apparent, uh, I mean, I hate to say it like this, but the run-up we had, and then the timing with Coinbase, which they said four to eight weeks, which was like, what, two weeks, a week ago, so now we got, we still got a month left, so it looks like we're going to stay in this downward trend until June, and I mean, we'll probably get some crazy tweets and stuff like that, but unless we get some hard proof, good news between now and June, when Coinbase uh, releases Dogecoin on their platform, then, I mean, the chart doesn't lie. Looking right at it, I can't see where you're getting. We were kind of closing this gap right here between the the price action and the 150-day moving average, but we, we got away from it. I mean, we're, we ran up so much that we... Um, we're going to have a long, it's going to be a long month, all right? So just prepare yourself for that because look at this whole, let's go back and look over here. I mean, it hasn't even been that long. It's only been like three months since this whole run up has been going on. This is the 17th right here. I mean, the only thing, I, the, uh, what I'm going to continue to do, my game plan is I'm going to continue to throw money at this every day. Every day, okay? You know what I mean? I'm full, I'm fully convicted, okay? I am fully convicted. Now, before we go any further, please remember, come follow me on Twitter so you can have a chance to win this Dogecoin. 0.999 silver commemorative piece. It's a collector's piece, okay? For real. It ain't no, that, 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 that toy gold stuff that people buy off Amazon. That's bullshit right there. That's garbage. Okay, we call that garbage. It has no face value. If you want something with face value, 
Why don't you at least go buy one of these ones right here? I got a bunch of these copper ones. I mean, they ain't worth a whole lot, but it's a whole lot worth more than that damn gold commemorative crap. Has no face value on it. But it's going to be a nasty, nasty month. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe pff, the last... Ah, man, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe, maybe by June, the first week of June, we might be having some price action. Some hard, some good action, okay? I'm not talking about no tweets. I'm talking about some good fundamental actions that's going to push us up to a dollar, okay? Much as I love the tweets and all that, that's not going to get us to a dollar and stay above the dollar. Okay, let's say, okay, Elon comes out and does with some crazy tweet, and he's like, you know, whatever. Oh, Deutsch is the best, and I'm all in, or whatever the hell. Okay, he shows us his bank account, and he shows us his wallet that says how much he has. Okay, all right, let's say that happens. All right, we run up to a dollar. Do you really think we're going to stay up there? That hype is going to die out so fast that we're going to be right back if not lower than we are right now. We don't need that kind of hype. We need fundamentals that are gonna show this is not gonna go anywhere and that this is here to stay. Not some damn tweet, all right? You know, I love the tweets, man. I'm on Twitter all the time throwing out stupid shit on there. I love it, I get it. <laughs> but if we want this one to make it, if we want Deutsch to get us to the moon so we can go to Mars, so we can finally be uh type one civilization and you know get away from the type zero then this is what we need to do right here okay yeah this is where elon's going with this okay this is the way we're gonna become a type one civilization yeah we going way off of fucking doge on this one but at the end of the day if you're part of doge you need to realize what you're part of and what elon is about okay elon is trying to get us to be a, a multi-planet species how do you think we're gonna do that damn ain't gonna do it by with american dollars right or chinese yen we're not gonna do it with a pound we're not gonna go to the moon we're not gonna go mine helium 3 we're not gonna go mine all the other stuff on the moon we're not gonna go mine asteroids and what i use a couple bucks right here i'm gonna pay you in usd no bro you think they're gonna want that oh man these guys aren't on planet they're off planet they're gonna want something that's not centralized something that we know is legit Jet, and we're all watching and that there's no bad actors and there's no way no one is going to go in there and change nothing that's what it's all about okay we can't be a type 1 civilization if we're all greedy i know and a type 1 civilization is able to use all of their energy and store it whether that is with the solar wind hydro power or fusion nuclear whatever it is we should be able to harness it and store it that's what a type one civilization is from my understanding that type of way right now we ain't anywhere near that we're too busy fucking shit up all right so if you're on board continue to buy it throw a couple bucks at it every day you see what these big wallets are doing that dude bought a 420 the other day <laughs> dollars and 20 cents i mean come on i throw 90 cents at this motherfucker every other day all right man you know what i mean come on every day i'm throwing money at it come follow me at twitter you'll see it man i'm not bullshitting on here i ain't like those other fools over here I'm like oh it's going to a dollar it's going to a dollar and they put in fifteen hundred dollars what a year ago three years ago four years ago come on bro don't listen to those fools man <laughs> You know, damn well they ain't adding to their position. I don't. I mean, I don't see it. I don't hear it. Uh, I mean, they go to the moon. Yeah, that's not gonna get us to stay above a dollar and stay there. We're gonna get to a dollar and we're gonna come crashing right back down. All right? No, we don't need that. We're not gonna be like the first starship that went and they came down and blew up. No, that's not what we need. We need to have a nice saw go up and then hold that altitude for a sustained time. All right? I'm out, baby. Come follow me on Twitter. Hope to catch you guys at the next video.